But for this version, um, we got haven't really got all those frosty features yet. But um, it's something that I really want to get in there. And I'm about to show you what this tool can do so far. So you will have a um, download of a FIFA modding UI zip. Um, so you can extract to, I don't know, I'll just call it Z to Z Z. Once you've done that, go in there, go in there, go in there. Right, um, people familiar with my old modern UI, it used to have a lot less DLLs and folders. I am very sorry for that. Um, at the moment, I can't get it to compress all to one exe. It's a big issue with something I've added into this um, this tool with this version. So um, for now, this is what you're going to get. Um, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'm sure I can clean it up at some point in a later time. Scroll down and go to FIFA modding UI.exe. Double click. Right, so this has picked up my FIFA 20. Um, you probably have, please select your version of FIFA. So if that happens, browse to FIFA, find your FIFA 20 XE, everything loads it, okay? So these are all being populated by uh, my current local, local, local I, I, and I. Um, so this is my current patch as is, without the FP mod attached to it. Um, which, I, as I said, I want to um, incorporate the frosty features so you can have a simplistic UI here to make changes to, to the additional stuff like uh, player speed, um, player decision making, um, AI decision making, um, uh, pass accuracy, shot accuracy, and all that. I want you guys to make your own mods, and I think it's it will suit everyone because you know the amount of times we have people are saying it's too easy, it's too hard, and I think I think it'd be best for you all to make your own little versions and and then you know if you want to use mine, fine, but I think you know you could use mine as a base or something and then work from there. I think you know it it'd be good for you all to tailor your own mods because everyone has their own opinion on what is right and wrong, and this is why I built this tool in the first place, oddly enough. Um, Obviously, this year has got a lot more complicated. Um, so the new features of this of this version of the modding tool are: you can now set the different lean modifiers. There are quite a few, um, but reality all you need to do is have this much. Now, these are weird. Um, I'm going to say this now. They, if you up and down this one, it seems to affect this one. So they are definitely in a ratio of each other. I just say, guys, play around with it until you find it's too difficult or too easy, and then you know go the other direction with it. Same with these here. I've left them on 0.23 or something, just to you know something sensible, and then work your way from there. And it really can change the game. These settings here, quite dramatically, and how much it changes the AI is extraordinary. So look into it. Play around with it, see what you think. Now, some people may be familiar with these. Again, these settings are just awkward. They are in ratio to each other. So if you dropped, like before now, I've dropped this to something ridiculous like that. And it literally just pass, 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 first time pass over and over and over and over. So, you know, some people might want that and want the AI to do that. And, you know, that's up to you. Um, and I mean, uh, what it does do if that happens is make the AI much better at attacking you because um, they're just so quick with the ball. And some people might hate that. I want to go, no, 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 I want it pure. I want it much slower. Um, and the same happens with this one here. You can make the AI shoot more, um, dribble more, and all sorts of this. So these are so sensitive, you, you wouldn't believe. So play around with it. See what you think. Um, I've added this here. I've added possession touch, contextual turn. Now this one, contextual turn, is pretty mad. If you raise this up to up here somewhere, it um, makes the player turn around quite a lot. And when I say turn around, I mean um, do like a full 180 um, and try to 
try to get past your defender in a different way than you would expect. Um, it was quite useful back in the day when we were trying to get more fouls, so it'd do a turn while you're tackling, and a guy would just fall over. Um, it can trick the AI quite a bit, so be careful. Same with this one. Um, if you lower this, it can make the AI very fast. So um, be careful, and it can make the AI a lot better too. So it depends on you, really, whether you want to do that or not. Um, down here is the famous setting of all. That is the kill everyone equals one setting. Those who don't know what that is, that is a setting that's in EA's wisdom that basically causes the AI to go a bit crazy and use a lot of sliding tackles on you. Um, some people love it. I, I'm half and half where it's great and sometimes it's rubbish. As in, sometimes you could be running away the ball and just decides, you know what, I'm going to slide tackle you and take your legs from under you. Some people love that. I'm in the favour of loving it, and then on times I'm not. It, it depends, really. It depends how it's acting on the day. And these settings here dramatically affect how much this happens. So um, back in FIFA 19, people were well aware. I was tweaking the hell out of this to try and get this to work, but it's just, it would never really come off. <laughs> Um, for the public one, I had to remove it because people are not really liking what it was doing. Um, I think the best thing with this, when we get around to the, adding the frosty features to this setting, is you can adjust um, how strict the referee is. And I think people will then be enabling this like crazy and just saying, you know what, I don't care. As long as it's making tackles and fouls, I'm happy. And I would probably agree with you. So what else have we got? Attribute weights. Um, these up here are basically what it says up here. It fluctuates the ability of the player. Um, it can go crazy, so be careful. Um, so anything in the minus, especially especially noticeable when the guy's trying to ball control. So when he takes his first touch, it can like, spin away from him if you've got a minus here. So have a mess with that if you want to, that is. Again, with these, um, they don't work as well as they used to. Um, so you can definitely test them out, see what you think. Again, objective system, if you're well aware of this, basically the AI has a bunch of um, instructions it can use. You can see all the ones I've turned off. You can probably change as much as like this, like things like match plan. If you don't know what that is, put it in the mixer is um, right at the end of the game, if the AI just boots into the box over and over. It's actually quite shit. And I think they need to sort of sort that out. Some of these you can't disable because um, Arsenal and PSG are reliant on these two settings here. Don't know why. I think a funny feel is to do with team traits, which is something we'll work on another day. And I'll probably add to this. Now, these are very handy if you want to change gameplay. And honestly, it still trips me up what they actually all do, but it definitely makes a difference to gameplay. Test it, play around with it. All is good. And this is what the file you'll be generating. So if you go past all the language stuff, um, there's all the instructions, the weights, those um, animation settings. There's your difficulties. And basically, before you launch the game, save this and just say yes to that. OK, so another feature I've added to this is launch FIFA. And you can see the title pop up there, Launch FIFA with Frosty Mods. Now, there's something I've been working on for a long, long time, is um, getting Frosty to work within this tool. Um, it does work, um, but it took a lot of reverse engineering to make it work. So basically, this has become a replacement for Frosty Mod Manager, so to speak, but a very simple version of it just built for fifa 20 and that's it so in here you've got mods and it's saying mod one mod two and i've added here to add your mods to the mod list copy it into the mods folder where this application is installed and if you look in here there's a folder up here is in mods and there's my two mods okay um and i've also said make sure you name you number them so that's the order they run in so i got a career mod gameplay mod so when so I've saved that, so that's made you changes to gameplay, 
you click this launch frost um, with frosty mods. Give it two seconds. What it applies. And there you go. It's launching, it's launching. There you go, it's launching my mod. So there we go, it's a replacement for Frosty Mod Manager. And, you know, I'm gonna build on this, guys. It's gonna be something I really need to build on. I've noticed this is grayed out, career. Um, this tool will work, will basically be my base for the career expansion mod. Um, something I'm really working hard on. It is so difficult to get running. Um, so, what's the space? I'll make another tutorial or video of what I'm doing with that. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like this tool. Mess around with it. Have fun.